Aries, welcome to Terribly Accurate. This is a video for anyone, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And then it's also if you are involved within Aries of any of those. Someone who's got some heavy Aries in their chart. And so we'll just get started on what to expect in the month of July. So first thing, um, how are you seeing yourself this month in regards to love? So things are on the upswing as far as lucky circumstances. <laughs> so um, this is a choice that you're making, actually. You're deciding that despite hardships um, in the past with your relationship and things like that, just to see the bright side of things. Now, you might feel a little bit disconnected from your partner, but by choosing to see the good in um, relationships that are somewhat tumultuous or um, even if they've been stable but there's been some hardship in outside sources of your life, you're choosing to see the good within that, um, you realize that this is just something that um, takes time. So some of you may have tried to um, either forgive your partner for a mistake that they've made or you're trying to be forgiven and you just understand that it takes time or trying to rebuild trust, things like that. Now. This month, um, how is your partner seeing you? Now, they're trying to do the same exact thing here, focusing on the good aspects of the relationship and not so much, um, you know, any hurts from the past, any hurt feelings, um, trying not to drudge up things that were said that were hurtful. Um, but they're not necessarily feeling as though this relationship is entirely secure this month. Now, this is a general reading. So for a more personal um, reading, if this isn't resonating with you, take the pieces that do, but know that, um, you know, when this is for thousands and thousands of people with Aries in their chart, um, a private reading is going to be the best, um, most succinct and precise way to get a reading. But this should be for the majority of anyone with Aries. Okay. So what they're doing is they are still paying a lot of attention to details. And so they're watching what you're doing very carefully. So I don't know if, th so this could go one of two ways. So if you were the one who kind of made your partner maybe not feel so secure in the relationship, then they're, it's not necessarily that they're watching you waiting for you to make a mistake, but they're following closely what you're doing. Now, if they were the one who maybe made this relationship not feel so secure. Maybe they lied to you. Um, maybe something threatened the relationship or maybe some harsh words were said. They're being very careful about what they're saying, how they're acting, how they're behaving. Um, but they're trying to, to just shift the way that they've perceived things in the past. You know, so any problems from the past, they're trying to change um, their focus away from those and just shift things towards the benefit things in the relationship that are really really positive in order to maintain um, and grow a better relationship with you so you're both kind of on the same page here which is a really really lucky thing and I think that's why we started out with that luck card with the wheel of fortune now what should you be avoiding this month in regards to love in your partnership And um, it says avoid talking about things that were unfair in the relationship and framing them as though they were a good thing. Because <laughs> we are trying to look at the positives in the relationship. But the more that we're talking about things from the past that probably weren't a good thing um, from either our perspective or our partner's perspective, and we say, you know what, like, what well, was a good thing we went through that because we experienced a lot of growth, the more irritated your partner is going to become <laughs> and, the, and the less stable it's going to feel. It's, um, you know, now typically this is, this is a good way to frame it, but it's not a good time this month for July um, for Aries to say that to their partner because they're not ready to necessarily accept that. They want to stop looking at the past and they just want to move forward. Like, okay, I'm going to forgive and forget. Not forgive, but never forget. That's kind of the mindset that they're in. And so the more that you bring it up, the more you kind of like, you know, it's like you put a band-aid on something and then you just rip it off when you talk about it. And so just try to avoid that this month. They're saying um, this month is a good month with regards to yourself and not to um, spend so much time or money away from the relationship 
Okay, so if you're going to go and buy yourself um, something that you want, make sure you buy a gift for your partner too this month because they're really going to want to feel like things are balanced. Um, if I mean, it's not to say give up your independence, okay? Not to say don't do things that make you happy away from the relationship, but this month try to include them a little bit more um, because they definitely have some insecurities and just consider it to be at least, I mean, it's not saying forever, just this month in July, Consider it to be a long-term investment in your relationship. And if this is a relationship that you would like to last, you know, into retirement forever, if this is that relationship where it's till death do us part, those kind of things are going to be important for you this month. Um, because for whatever reason, your partner's really trying hard to focus on what is positive, and so are you. But some, of, but both sides feel a little bit insecure in regards to uh, where it might be heading. Now, what are some things that you can do to um, grow or increase your love for your partner and from your partner? Now, it's talking about healing here and that by focusing on the positives and kind of just letting the, um, the negatives like go, not, not um, antagonizing or, or bringing up your partner's mistakes is going to be really, really huge for you. Huge investment in your long-term future is what this is saying. And um, making sure that you're, even if gifts is not your partner's love language, for some reason, gifts are really important this month. So go out of your way to think about things that they would love that would make them feel special and um, purchase them something. It's really gonna be helpful. Now, what is working against you this month in your love relationship? Um, now, some of us might have not taken the appropriate time to go within and self-reflect. So um, this is going to be an issue for you later as the month progresses, okay? So while we are focusing on the positive, there are still some things that we need to go through and heal and examine. We don't need to talk about them with our partner. Even though communication is super important in our relationship, um, these internal processes do need to stay internal um, just so that you can keep things going on a positive level um, to get past any hardships you've recently have had. It's going to create um, a lot of happiness in your relationship and set you up for more joy. So um, gratitude journaling would be really, really good this month, or um, better yet than gratitude journaling, just uh, praising your partner for things that they should be doing anyway, right? Like, I love that you always make sure there's Diet Coke in the fridge for me. I love that you let me know what time you're going to be home from work. I love that, you know, whatever. Those kind of things are going to be really important, expressing a lot of gratitude. Or I love that you're also focusing on the positive aspects of our relationship and desire to have fun with me. That kind of a thing. Now, um, what is working for you in the month of July? <laughs> so what's working for you in the month of July is not always, even though, like I said, we do need to generally in, these, in this relationship, I'm definitely getting this, that we do need to communicate more. Um, that this month, not communicating everything that we feel on a whim is going to be really good for us. We have to think it through, self-reflect on what are we saying and um, how is this going to affect the relationship? Is this actually what I want to say? Because we are inclined this month, we have the capacity to really quickly just say something out of anger and then not be able to take it back so easily. So just watch your tongue. Um, we have to just understand that things take a long time, okay? Um, some things take time to get past, okay? And, and time heals all wounds, they say. And so this is going to be something to remember, not to give up hope, um, not to give up on what we're working on and then out of anger just be like, but I'm doing all of these nice things for you or whatever, or, you know, say, you're not doing enough for me time. We need time here. It says because we're coming to the end of a cycle. So the way that the relationship was previously will be totally different. And this month, in different in a better way, actually. And so this month is um, kind of those last few things that we need to get through in order to change our relationship where it is more healthy, solid, stable, and loving. Um, and so it says don't give up hope. Be very hopefully um, optimistic. 
pray about this, meditate on it, um, think about this while you're doing yoga or going for a walk, whatever it is that you do to connect to your spirituality, have pure faith in the universe, God, Allah, spirit guides, whatever, okay? Now, um, what are the lessons that we are learning about love <laughs> this month with our partner. And that one just leapt right out of the deck, but I do feel like there's two lessons. So I'm going to um, pull two parts. First one is tolerance, and that's exactly what we were talking about, where it says, you appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. And so even if your partner isn't um, always showing you love in the way that you would expect, or your love is changing and evolving this month, we need to just see that positive side of things, right? So maybe they're not meeting your expectations. Maybe they're hurting you um, and that wasn't their intention, but we need to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to forgive that. Maybe I didn't make my expectations clear. Maybe I didn't relate to my partner, how I wanted to be treated or what I kind of expected. Um, this is really important this month. Try to always take the high road. <laughs> Try to always give them the benefit of the doubt this month. And then I've got friendliness here saying you're able to recognize traits in common with another to in order to forge love-based connections. And so it's like, okay, what do we have in common this month? This month we're both focusing on the positive. What do we have in common? Well, we both like to play darts, you know? Then go on those kind of dates, things that you both love. Because this month is really about togetherness and um, bonding. It's kind of about fixing things maybe from the past, um, maybe things that were clear and were talked about or things that were kind of just brushed under the rug where maybe you're just starting to drift apart and we want to get back on parallel paths, okay? Now, what is the overall outcome for the month of July for coupled Aries? Oh, goodness. <laughs> so, this is interesting. Um, what this is saying is, even though we might have experienced some drama, all right, in, in the recent past, we are letting these old ways, this old relationship that we had, with, that was maybe not founded on the right things. Maybe we came into this relationship just looking for something, you know, with our base desires, like, hey, that person's really attractive, or they're really successful, or, you know, whatever drew us to them, but we weren't necessarily thinking like, gosh, I'm going to love this person forever, right? Um, we're kind of abandoning all of those qualities, and we're abandoning everything toxic within the relationship. Maybe you got together and, um, you know, you used to like to do things, you like to party, and so then you started parting together uh, with, you know, drugs, alcohol, these sort of things, and it created problems in your relationship and kind of made you feel like a loser, <laughs> like your relationship wasn't going anywhere. Maybe you got into a bad um, pattern of name calling, things like that, and that's ultimately not what you want, but because your relationship has changed now um, over time and you're seeing what you want, this is an opportunity for you to grow and change this relationship and make it something totally different than it ever was in the past. Um, this is, But both people have to be on board. And this is the kind of relationship um, where there is going to be a lot of growth. You know, where maybe the relationship kind of started down here and then it's a total dive. But not only are we going to come back to here, we're going to come up to here. Okay? And so... It's just a matter of wanting to put in that investment, um, especially when we know that things are going to take time to pay off, not losing our patience, being passionate and excited about what this means. We cannot give up um, hope about this. Um, we can't really start to think negatively about this because then everything will kind of crumble apart and it will stay crumbled. So if you want to keep your relationship, um, I think last month, when we were talking about Aries couples that in the general reading that it was saying, you might have to try things your partner's way this time. Um, and it's not necessarily saying that here, but it's just saying, um, don't, don't give up hope, right? Because our relationships, Aries have been through the ringer, maybe <laughs> a little bit and, um, good things are coming. If you can stick it out, if you can really apply focus to your relationship and if you can, um, be patient with all of these things. So, um, not only will it be better, like in communication, the love will feel increased. It will be more, um, it'll help you with your stability, with your work. Everything just kind of gets better so long as you have faith in there and you stay gratitude focused and your partner does the same. So I hope you found that helpful. Love and light and see you soon. Bye.